Yeah. What's up, YouTube? Well, I'm doing another update on the Gearsicle project. Well, yeah, and what, so if if you haven't watched my other parts to the Gearsicle project, you, you might want to watch those parts because I explain the progress that I've made th throughout this whole project in, in those parts, and I'm I'm going to be doing an update on and the progress I made since my last video on this bike. Well, before before I explain the progress that I made, I'm going to explain a few things about this bike. Well, you, you got these long levels here, levers here. These are the pedals for the bike. And they're very long. See, here's my foot compared to them. So, which gives you greater torque because there's an equation where T torque equals d distance from pivot point to where force is applied times force applied. And so you got, got that distance greater, so the torque is greater. And also, they create a force all by themselves because y you got the distance, but you got the weight stretched far away from the pivot point. So they create a force all by themselves. and. You also got the really high gearing here set up as, as you can see. Now, each time what you're doing, as you're going from a small sprocket to a big sprocket, you're increasing the speed of everything. Everything's rotating faster, going faster. Each time what you're indirectly making the size of the, the, that sprocket in the back there bigger, so goes from here to here, it's going bigger, and then from there to there, it's bigger again, and then it's going back to the normal drive train. So here would be like a, a times four and a times three. So you're you're multiplying the size of that sp sprocket like by 12 times. So it's as if you had a sprocket g going from here directly to there. It's 12 times the diameter it is right now. But anyway, as for the update in the project, what I basically did was I, I changed out that gearbox that was originally there. It's a bad gearbox that I've made. I, I put in a, a bicycle bomb bracket in place, so it's a nice gearbox, and that's pretty much the update that I've made to it. This project still does have its problems. And you got your ch chain slack here, and also on 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 this side here too. There's chain slack. You can see that that's not good. There's this gearbox down here, which I've made. It it's a bad gearbox. It's uh, nothing I can do about that. But yeah, and also on the levers, I, I got socket wrenches at the ends here, and they aren't the best mechanism because they they don't lock immediately. And let me, I'm just gonna demonstrate a few things with this lever in here. Change the direction so it starts locking. Like, it doesn't lock for a little bit. Like it takes a little, little bit of time locking, and because the levers are long, that, that area where it doesn't lock becomes bigger. That that's a problem with it. And also, when I when I pedal. It, I'm pressing down it. It doesn't feel right, and you can maybe tell from, maybe not, and you can see that flexing there. There's there's energy loss right there, and also this sprocket right here and and this one are are both slightly off center, so that there's probably some kind of problem there, and this le lever can move from. 
left right here, then that's probably a small problem as well. Uh, but as for whether there's any more problems to it than that, I'm I really don't know. There very well may be, but but if you, and if you have any suggestions on how to make it better, like fix the problems, uh, please tell me them. Well. Well, that's about it. And I plan to next pick up the slack and the, these chains here. But thanks for watching.